So, to introduce ourselves, my name is Liam, this is Valentin, we are from Europeana. In this hat, you probably know some of us, either of us or both of us, with different hats. Today we are representing uh, Europeana, the meta-glam of Europe. It collects the records of cultural heritage institutions of all types across Europe to make them visible, searchable, discoverable in interesting ways that they would not necessarily be just on the collection of their own institution. It's a European Commission funded project, so public European cultural heritage for the win. Um, I will be handing most of the presentation across to Valentin, who is the data coordinator for Europeana, and she'll be presenting the kinds of things that we currently do and wish to do with Europeana, and questions about how we should move forward in that direction in the future. Hi. Um, so yeah. So the idea of this session is uh, we wanted to uh, do a small presentation to put things into context, but then we wanted to give you the floor for more questions. So because we really want to have a discussion with you, and um, in this discussion, in fact, we would like you to you could think with different point of view. So this presentation is the Yopana point of view, but we would like also to have feedback more from the GLAMS uh, part, but also if you are Wikidata Yen, what you, you think also about the, the, the different uh, thing we are going to present and the question we are going to propose to you. So yeah, so quickly, what is Yopana? Liam already did a short in introduction. So Yopana is the platform for Europe uh, digital cultural heritage. So we aggregate metadata from all the EU countries. So at the moment, it's around uh, 3,500 galleries, libraries, audiovisual archive, archives across Europe. Uh, we have around 53 million objects and uh, we have to cover um, around 50 languages. So it's either the languages of the objects we collect Meta metadata for or the language of the metadata themselves. So this is an extra challenge uh, for us. So you can imagine when we collect all those data, uh, we are also collecting huge amount of reference to places, people, concept, time, which is also what uh, you have in Wikidata. So the idea is, um, so coming back to 2015, so there was a, a European at Wikimedia Task Force looking at how uh, Wikimedia could work with Europeana. And, um, and this report gave several recommendations. And one of those recommendations back in 2015 was uh, make Wikidata a central element of the, uh, platform, uh, the portal to platform strategy for Europeana. So moving Europeana into not just being a portal, but also becoming a platform. So um, yeah, we are not uh, saying anything uh, anything new. So it was already a recommendation that was uh, was done a long time ago, and now um, the idea is to slowly but hopefully surely to realize this uh, this vision uh, we had in 2015. So what we do at Europeana at the moment is uh, trying to move towards a linked data strategy and trying to use a bit more all this data we uh, we collect um, about yeah references to places people etc so what we are building currently is uh, what we call an entity collection so uh, as beside uh, all the metadata we collect about our object the descriptions for the book the painting we are also collecting data about specific entities and the idea is to build a service that acts as a centralized point of reference to access the data about those contextual entities. So we want to use them as entities that can provide context to the object we are describing or the, the objects people can access through the Europeana portal. And this would become a sort of Europeana knowledge graph. So Again, an idea that is uh, very similar to what Wikidata is in some ways, and this is not new, so you have the Google knowledge graph. So this, uh, the idea is for Europeana to have a kind of knowledge graph that then we could use within Europeana, within the Europeana services to build different kind of cool stuff. So for, for example, using the entity collection as the base to 
have um, entity-based facet in the Yopana portal, uh, using it uh, for semantic and metadata annotation, uh, creating entity pages. So the example is the the first uh, the the first release of the first release of the entity page we have uh, in Yopana. So they are very simple, but it's a, it's a starting point. Or using uh, this entity collection also to feed some uh, services such as auto completion. So when users search in Yopana, they can have this um, suggestion uh, for for entity and then move um, more and more from a free text search to an entity based um, search. So what data we have so far? So previously to this entity collection, Yopana was already, sta was already starting to do some data enrichment. And to do data enrichment, we, um, we started by linking our data to um, some quite big corpus, quite generic, because they were giving a nice coverage of the entities Yopana has, and also because Yopana has to cover many languages. So when looking for poten poten potential source for linking, we were looking at those big corpus that provides a lot of languages. So uh, for places, we um, are linking to GeoNames, for the agents to DBpedia, and for the concept to DBpedia. So this was the first... Uh, base for the entity collection. So what was done is all this data that we were using for data enrichment were this data was indexed in Yopeana and then we have separate uh, we have used this base to build the entity collection. And now the idea is why not making Wikidata the base for this entity collection. So it's at the moment you see we use a lot of DBpedia and then the idea is to um, get into the entity collection more links to, to Wikidata. And um, so we are already, uh, we have already starting uh, to, to, to do it. So this is few screenshots to show you how it is at the moment in Yopeana. So again, there is not so much Wikidata. Uh, this entity collection is based on the data we had at the beginning. So all the language uh, variants, for example, are mostly coming from TBpedia at the moment. So you can see the data representation. We have uh, the um, creator pages. So for example, this one for Coco Chanel. So it's very few information, but uh, we hope that those pages will, uh, will gather more and more information. And then you also see the um, uh, suggestion, the auto-suggestion when uh, you search. Um, in Yopeana. Um, we are also using uh, Wikidata in other ways, so beside the entity collection. Uh, at the moment, we are uh, using Wikidata more and more to support uh, annotations, so either to tag Yopeana items, so we have this mini service called Yopeana Radio, where basically we wanted to offer the possibility to people to tag a sound item with sound genre, and we have used those from uh, Wikidata. Uh, we are also linking uh, Yopeana items to external resources, so either Wikidata resources, um, or to Wikimedia Commons. And uh, of course, um, even so, at the moment, we are linking Yopana to Wikidata, but uh, we know that some people have helped us to do also the uh, linking the other way around, so because this is also uh, really valuable uh, to us. But unfortunately, uh, this is something we might not have time to, we might not have time to spend on this. So it's also a question maybe for later, how we can collaborate in a way that maybe if GLAMS makes an effort to link to Wikidata, how we can also have uh, the linking back. And I don't know, maybe the Wikidata community can help into that because um, the GLAMS might not have the resources to, to do the linking in, a, in both ways. Um, so this is an example. So the Yopana radio, so you have a sound um, so a sound recording, and basically we're offering the possibility to tag the item directly with some genre from, uh, from Wikidata. And then we are showing the user annotation in the portal. And also uh, linking to uh, Wikimedia Commons for uh, images. So 
So far, so we have done this linking. We, we are trying to link more and more to Wikidata, but the problem for us is how the collaboration should happen and how we should try to, to use, how we should try to use Wikidata. So even though Yopana is doing this, so we are doing these strategies to link to Wikidata because for us it's, it's easier. And Wikidata is, is the resource we need. It's big, it covers a lot of languages. The problem is we work a lot with GLAMs that might have smaller vocabularies, smaller um, um, teaserize that are very relevant to us, but we can't link to those because uh, it takes a lot of effort. So another part of the discussion is how uh, Europeana can also benefit from this work from GLAMS through Wikidata. So whether we should encourage GLAMS to also use Wikidata for their own vocabulary so that services like Yopana can also benefit from those through Wikidata. So maybe, yeah, it's maybe for later for the discussion to think around this kind of virtual circle, how Wikidata can, um, how Yopana can benefit from Wikidata and also benefit from uh, resources from smaller GLAMS and how Wikidata can also reuse uh, those resources because I, ha I guess having links to more maybe control authorities in Wikidata can also make Wikidata, uh, can also improve the credibility of Wikidata as a source of data. So, so yeah, this is a discussion and um, you, looking at this example of linking to Wikimedia Commons also bring us to another topic, another project, which is the structured data on commons, because this is also something that is going to be become really relevant for Europeana and maybe to the GLAM, so how to link to uh, digital resources. From the Europeana perspective, we are looking very closely at how the project is evolving and we can already say that one point that is going to be really cr crucial for, from our point of view is if we want to reuse the work of structured data on commons, interoperability will be crucial and especially in terms of right statements, because basically if structured data on commons doesn't provide clear rights information in a structured way of representing those rights, uh, we won't use it. So it's something also to, to, to include in the discussion, what should be the requirements for Wikidata, for Wikimedia, for structured data on commons so that other uh, in, um, projects such as European or the GLAMS can also reuse it because it's not you just create something and you say, well, use it. We have also to think about the, the requirements. So maybe... Um, I had a point to that. Yeah. The, the big difference from, for Europeana in structured data and commons compared to previous work with Wikimedia Commons directly is that the, it's the first time that we start to talk about things that are often work or in copyright. Previously, Europeana, obviously with Wikimedia Commons, can only talk about and utilize out of copyright or freely licensed works under Creative Commons. Now we can start to talk about Wikidata items and entities and things that are orphan works, which is a whole new layer of copyright shenanigans uh, that we've never in the Wikimedia community had to deal with before because it's just out of scope. But Wikidata means we can talk about contemporary artworks as well and use the use metadata for contemporary artworks, just not the images of them. Um, so it's a new field of copyright that Wikimedia is not experiencing yet. Yeah, so the question is whether uh, initiatives like rightstatement.org that provide structured way to represent a right statement can be something useful that uh, structured data on commons could reuse, for example. Um, so, Yopana has also participated to, uh, to other activities such as Yopana 280 uh, that um, uh, allowed the creation and the improvement of some Wikidata item related to art. And uh, we are also trying to try to start the discussion and for example we have written this blog which was explaining to GLAM's partner how they can align their authority, uh, authorities using uh, mix, the mix and match uh, tool. So, so yeah, this is a kind of summary of where we are and what we do. 
Um, so of course you can uh, already try the entity, um, so the entity API, which allows you to access to the entity collection data. So you can find all those links in the Etherpad that is attached to to our session, and uh, we will we are there with uh, with Liam. So if you have any questions um, or feedback, please uh, let us know. So the discussion we wanted to to ask you today. Um, and this is going along the, the points that I've tried to raise during the, the presentation. So how should Europeana and its partner glands better integrate um, with Wikidata? How Wikidata can benefit from Europeana's work or also other glands work uh, in, in this area? And what should be the concrete step for participation? Because quite often uh, we, we want to have some initiatives such as project or use Wikidata into some uh, campaigns, uh, but it's not always clear what are the steps uh, we need for participation and what are the, the different requirements, such as, for example, if you want to link your data to Wikidata, the first step is to create this ID that will help you to, this Wikidata ID property that helps you to do the connection. So if you don't know that, um, you are a bit uh, stuck. So this kind of requirements. And then also uh, starting the discussion on structured data on commons. How, uh, what about the integration with this project? Because um, I guess the, the experience with Wikidata can also help us in trying to have a better approach towards integration with this new project and try to accelerate maybe a bit more the adoption uh, uh, of this. So yeah, those are questions uh, for you. Our job is done i would say for now and uh, and yeah so i don't know if anyone would like to um just answer to one of those questions or share remarks or anything that can help us to to have this uh, discussion together and i think the presentation after are also coming back on this uh, topic so maybe we will have time in during the session to uh, to improve on that so if anyone would like to respond to these questions or answer, ask a question relating to the presentation. Uh, Stefan, while the microphone comes to you, remember that Europeana is not a glam in the traditional sense of a cultural heritage in institution with its own collection. We aggregate through national aggregation authorities of Europe the collections of other kinds of institutions. So the diversity of content and input metadata is very high. Um, some people think that that's the diversity of that content, therefore the inconsistency of that in content is our fault. Not really. We, we try and increase the quality and, and uh, detail and openness of that input data. Uh, but it is in our interest as Europeana to encourage more openly accessible, high quality, standardized metadata from the institutions as well. Stefan. Yeah. I just wanted to break the ice to be the first uh, Thank you. Uh, to enter the discussion. Uh, I think uh, I would really like to see efforts in, in two uh, uh, areas. One is, is to use Europeana and the whole network behind it, the aggregators you have mentioned, which we are one in Germany, um, to use the the experts, the metadata experts like Valentin, who are natural allies, uh, are drawn to to Wikidata, to use them as as multipliers. Uh, I think uh, Daniel Mietjen talked in a lightning talk before about these these uh, engagement uh, projects, how how we organize outrage for Wikidata. I think one could switch a bit from the Wikimedian and residents to to train or to 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 make uh, the people working in the the glam aggregation institutions uh, advocates for wikidata and i think the willingness is really really there uh, lots of people are quite keen it's not so easy i myself not being a metadata expert but quite versed in the wikiversum still find it there's a steep learning curve and, and if you have 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 the the luck to 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 be guided into the world of wikidata it gets quite easy easier and if you know a person next to you working in the same museum uh, that's something that helps to to break the ice i think uh, and the other thing is tooling but we'll talk about that later <laughs> so just in terms of collaboration so because I'm not sure, so I think your ideas are really good, then I'm not sure um, at what level. So when we say uh, GLAMS collaborating with Wikidata, for you it's would, should GLAMS directly interact with Wikidata or do we think work towards 
linking the authority files that already exist in the library's museum to Wikidata would be more relevant because I think uh, from what I've heard this morning, uh, there is different strategy, either uh, doing collaboration directly by editing Wikidata or uh, linking. So I, I don't know in the GLAM world uh, where the forces should be and, and how GLAM see that. And maybe from a Wikidata perspective, what do you think is the most useful for the, the for Wikidata as a, as a platform and as a, a database? I think it's, uh, a, it's a, uh, there's still a difference of cultures. And if you don't experience the Wikiversum and Wikidata and the specific culture, and I think it helps if you, if you build your queries and, and try to edit stuff and use the tools available, uh, even if you just want to link to it. I, I think uh, to have a, have a, have a f force of people that are well versed in the wiki way and, and can communicate, I think it's really a bit of a cultural difference because, uh, and that's why I think it's good to speak the language. And, and I, I think you need to have to be a, a bit of wiki data fluency, even if you don't want to, want to go that far and especially the multipliers should be should be we should be we should be well versed and be proper uh, uh, wikidata people uh, 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 in order to 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 help the movement can i summarize that as europeana should be using its position in relationship to national aggregating authorities to talk to them not spending our time so much trying to advocate wikidata necessarily to the individual institutions but we should be trying to increase the training and awareness and technical capability with the national aggregating authorities. It's okay. Um, do we have any other, we have a couple of minutes left. Do we have a, another question? What kind of tracking tools do you have to see the penetration of Wikidata in the GLAMs and in Europeana, the different databases there? Is there like some, do you have something that says over the top 100 GLAMs in Europe, um, such and such percentage of the databases are actually integrated with Wikidata so we know where to focus? I don't think we have done the, this work of um, of really looking at the numbers. I know already that uh, there are a lot of big vocabularies that are already linked in Wikidata. We will hear about GND, we have AAT. But as far as I know, in the in, inside the data we receive and we aggregate, I don't think, I would say less than 10% really has uh, Wikidata links in there. So in the data we receive, we don't see them uh, much unless there was some campaign and then we know why people have added the specific links. Um, so, so yeah, even, and, and they don't, and also there is not so much discussion on um, the institution letting us know that this has been done. So we don't necessarily know. So, but on the tracking and, and uh, statistic uh, itself, we, we, we haven't done that work uh, yet. Uh, I would like to respond to the first question. Uh, so how should Europeana uh, and its partner GLAMS better integrate Wikidata? I think you should, uh, Europeana is mainly a very a network of GLAMS and there's a lot of context. You should encourage uh, good things within the network, like uh, have everyone uh, develop an open access policy, make it clear how we can reuse their data. Uh, have them use stable identifiers. Would also be nice if Europeana started providing stable identifiers. We have a lot of broken links right now. Those kind of things. Yeah. I, I think that scales much better than uh, than trying to do an end-to-end -end problem. Yeah. But for the broken links, it's not always our fault because basically the link to the objects are the links to the resource from the institution. So if they change the link and they don't let us know, um, that's why the link is broken. So that is also part of another collaboration <laughs> point, I guess. Yeah, I just want to say I missed the first minutes of your presentation, but I'm really looking forward to the entity collection coming, coming together because that's going to be like an aggregate of uh, the terminology of European culture. So I think we should really uh, try to work together and you being able, based on the work that we do on Wikidata, to clean it up and to link it together because that's a really powerful link that we can make. So. I see lots of potential there. 
Uh, Jason, <laughs> which events person? <laughs> um, just a quick point, really, about the the, the first point there. The, uh, the National Library of Wales has got several collections um, with detailed metadata, and they've been shared with Europeana. But there's there's nothing on Wikidata or in Europeana to connect the two things together. Um, so we definitely, I think, I don't know whether it's a matter of creating identifiers in Wikidata to show that something's part of Europeana as well as a GLAM collection. Um, but I think it would definitely be good to develop some way of connecting connecting these things together. There, there is already the there is already the Europeana ID property in Wikidata. Um, so and obviously an image of a painting is not necessarily, the th and a Wikidata item are not necessarily the same thing. There might be 25 images of that one painting, and Europeana might have 25 other images of that painting, but there already is uh, the Wikidata property Europeana ID, um, so that can be used as the the, the linchpin for that, that triangle. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that, it was just a general point about the, um, the the summit that you mentioned about getting, you know, facilitating the links from their side into Wikidata, like, or, you know, if they want to do it on one side, because I feel like it's a really low hanging fruit for a lot of these places that are worried about copyright. They don't have to give anything away. Just focusing on that means that they end up with this massive mapping. And the minute they're ready, we can just, you know, click the button and pull in the identifiers on our end. But I really feel like it's a, it's a powerful thing to encourage. So if your piano was encouraging that, it would be a real benefit. We do require that all metadata is CC0 coming in from the institutions as well. So it's all cleaned in that sense. But, but it's the kind of thing that I think should be... Uh, promoted in a way, you know, because if a museum has a, a bunch of links to, to Wikidata ready uh, and they might not have the time to do the, the, the relation in the other way on Wikidata, who should we contact? Because I know there might be some of you that could do that after their work in the evening, you know, and then in a way uh, doing it in a much faster way than um, me at Chopana trying out for two days. You know, so it's just, I think, I mean, as you said, that's why the presentation was called low hanging fruits, because I think there is a lot of potential there, but sometimes it might be this tiny thing uh, that we might not know. So, um, so yeah, if, uh, I don't know, it could be also on the Wikidata side, uh, whether there would be a place where we can ping someone and say, well, I have all these links, can you do a, a, a burn, uh, back, um, a batch upload to Wikidata to have those uh, those relation back to Yopana, that that sort of thing. So I think that could be the the, the thing the community can could work uh, a, a bit better uh, in terms of communication. That, very quickly, uh, yeah, but just, yeah, absolutely. But I think that's the other crucial thing is hearing the communication of what you need. And I think the, the person having a point of contact is really critical. No? And that will be the last question. Um, so I don't know about the, uh, your licensing. Uh, of course, for, for the images and all, you could have different licenses. What about the metadata? Is it CC0 all the time? All Meta the time? Metadata requirement of, of okay, sending into the, Europeana. Is, metadata is CC0. Okay. The license yeah, of the content that. and the license of the original object. We have a lot of um, political statements or policies in Europeana to encourage open licensing of the material as much as possible. Yeah. We have a, a position statement saying that you may, you should not claim new rights okay. just because you own the object yeah. and you digitized it. Yeah. Okay. But Europeana does not have the political power or to enforce that. Okay. You know, we encourage that, but the input information and the copyright information coming in from those institutions about what kind of reuse they are comfortable with uh, we encourage more open, but we can't enforce that. And okay. we have tracking levels of what proportion of our collection has an image, has a high-resolution image, has a reusable high-resolution image, okay. et cetera, et cetera. And we are always encouraging okay. more so of that. You're, you're, the metadata, CC0. Yeah, it's easy. Okay, so it's easy to, if, if we want, we can import it to the Wikidata. Yeah. Yes, okay. That's and obviously the quality of the metadata depends on the input information. We don't uh, yeah. say that's wrong. That's their responsibility for okay. their collection. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh.
Next one.